Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to show you that you don't need to spend $2,000 if you want to have a capable VR PC. Not even $1,000. This is the $700 VR PC that will allow you to play the games that you want to play, like, for example, Stormland on high graphic details, or Asgard's Wrath, or Lone Echo. And this PC also meets the minimum requirements to play the upcoming Half-Life Alex. This PC is also perfect for you if you own the Oculus Quest and now, thanks to Oculus Link, want to play all of these PC VR games that I've just mentioned. Or you own or want to buy the Rift S and you wonder what kind of PC could play all of these games and doesn't break the bank. This PC is the right one for you. In this video, I'm going to show you, of course, which components I use to build this PC and I'm going to show you step by step how to build it. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you tutorials like this one and I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews. If this is your cup of tea, why don't you subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get to the $700 VR PC, I would like to say thank you to the MRTV champions, the three MRTV sponsors. First of all, Modicap. And Modicap are making this here, the sound kit for the Quest and the Rift S, bringing Sennheiser headphones to your Quest or Rift S. And this is definitely the best sound quality that you can get for the headsets. Also, thank you to Human Eyes. Human Eyes are makers of the Views XR, my favorite VR camera. This is an amazing device and makes amazing 3D VR 180 videos and pictures. Also, thank you to VR Cover. Of course, VR Cover is making the hygiene solutions, like for example, this one for the Valve Index. Thank you so much and all the links to all the products down in the description of this video. Let's get to the $700 VR PC. And exactly like you see it here with this kind of tower and with these kind of components, I call it the MRTV low budget VR PC. Now all the components that you can see here, I bought them on Amazon. And if you follow me, if you buy exactly the same components, the links down in the description of this video, you can follow me step by step by building exactly this PC, which is again perfect for the Oculus Quest and the Rift S in order to play Stormland and all of the games that I'm going to show you later. So simply follow me along. And the great thing, everyone can build this PC. I myself was not a specialist in building VR PCs or PCs in general. I also just recently learned it so I can show you step by step how it works. I'm going to upload two videos. This one, which is a short version and a longer version where I'm going to show you exactly each step that you need to follow in order to build this PC. So now let's first of all talk about the components. All right, we start with the main board and I chose the MSI B450M Pro M2 Max. This is a quality main board made by a well-known brand and it's not so expensive. Also, it fits perfectly for the processor that we're going to use. And this is the processor, the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. This is a six core processor. It's very capable and the price is unbeatable. $120, you don't get any more bang for your buck anywhere else. For memory, I chose this 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM made by Corsair called Vengeance LPX. And this is going to set us back $65. For the SSD, I also went with Corsair and this is a 480 gigabyte SSD setting us back $65. Of course, you can also go for one with a higher capacity that's up to you. Now, really important, the graphics card, the GPU. I chose the GDX 1660 Super and probably you even haven't heard of it. This is a very new card and this is equivalent to the GDX 1070. So really capable and can play back all of our VR games that we want to play. Now let's talk about the power supply. I chose a Thermaltake 600 watts PSU. Actually for this computer you don't really need 600 watts, but because I believe that probably you want to upgrade in the future, I went for that one. 
I personally went for the RGB model, the one with the colorful lights, but that's totally up to you and the non-colorful one is cheaper. And last but not least, the case. I chose the NZXT H510. This is a really nice case and it's a best-selling case on Amazon.com and that's for a reason. It really looks good and the quality is just right. All right, now we have everything we need in our cart to build the MRTV low-budget VR PC and as we can tell, everything together is under 700 US dollars, an absolutely amazing price for this computer. All right, so now you know about all of the components of the MRTV low budget VR PC. And well, all of the links are down in the description of this video. And these are so-called affiliate links. So if you're going to buy through these links, you don't have to pay anything more, but you're supporting this channel. And I would be really grateful for that. And if this works out well here, I'm going to do more of these kinds of videos. So that would be amazing if you would use these affiliate links. Before I show you how smoothly this PC can play back Stormland and all of the other titles on the Oculus Quest at the end of this video, let me show you how to put all of the pieces together. And again, this is just the short version. I'm going to upload a longer version where I'm going to show you step by step how this works. First of all, we start with the main board. Unbox it and place it in front of you, probably on the cardboard that it came with. Next, we're going to install the CPU onto that main board. Unbox it and put it onto the main board. And I'm going to explain that in detail in the next video. And there you're also going to see the footage that I'm taking here with my phone. It's actually really simple. Next, we're going to install the cooling fan that came with the CPU and we're going to position it right above it. Of course, we're also going to screw it tightly onto the main board. In order for the cooling fan to work, we also have to plug it onto the main board. Next, we're going to install the RAM. And that's truly easy because there are only two memory banks here that we're going to fill with our RAM. Next, it's the SSD. And there's only one position to put it. It's here and simply put it in and tighten it with a screw. And that's everything that you have to do. Now let's install the graphics card. Again, it's a 1660 Super, which is as good as a GDX 1070. And simply plug it into the PCI Express card slot and you're good to go. Now let's have a look at the power supply. Actually, that's really simple. We only need to connect three plugs, two on the main board and one on the graphics card. And this is the second one and this is on the graphics card here. And that's everything. So now you have a working PC and we check that before we put it into the case by connecting a screen and by starting it. How that works, I'm going to show you in the longer video. And because everything checks out fine, we're going to put the computer into the case now. And we do so without the graphics card and the power supply. These will be added in the next steps. First of all, we have to screw the main boards to the case. And now we can put back the graphic card back to the PCI Express slot. Now we flip the whole case around in order to install the power supply unit. And that's really simple. You only have to tighten four screws. Now connect back the three plugs like before and you're done. And see how beautiful this looks because of the nice cable management of the case. In the last step, you have to connect a few cables that run from the case to the main board. And these cables are responsible for front USB and the on and off button. And that's it. You close the case and you are completely done. Now, that was quite simple, right? And I'm sure that you can do it too. Anyways, now that we've built it, let me show you how amazingly well this runs Stormland and lots of other games with the Oculus Quest. And we start with my favorite VR game at the moment, Stormland. This is a game that everybody has to play. And you're probably watching this video because you want to play Stormland on your Oculus Quest. Well, this computer is going to allow you to do so. Just check out how beautiful the game is. And the reason for that is that this is running now on the high graphic details and it does so buttery smooth. It is just nice. Let me tell you, it runs just That's as it. smoothly as on my GDX 1080 Ti PC and that was three times more expensive when I bought it. 
So no need to waste so much money, just get the $700 MRTV low budget VR PC. And here you can see it, the details are on high. So now let me show you another fan favorite that you absolutely have to play, Asgard's Wrath. Now this game is exceptionally beautiful because you have lots of colors, check out the colors here and you also have these kind of dark scenes and these dark scenes are especially good with the OLED display of the quest. As you can tell I'm checking out the tracking here and the tracking is just so good. The tracking of the quest and the Rift S is wonderful and it's just a pleasure to play here. Now this is a scene a bit later in the game and I simply wanted to show it to you because it's just so epic. Look at the graphics and this kind of graphics the quest couldn't do on its own. You do need a PC for making this happen. And it just works great here. Now let me show you another game that you can't miss. This is Lone Echo, a must play. This is without a doubt one of the best VR games out there and now thanks to this computer you will be able to play this on your Oculus Quest. And of course also on your Rift S if you use this computer for your Rift S or any other VR headset. There is no stuttering going on at all, it's buttery smooth and simply a joy to play. And now you can play it too and Lone Echo 2 which is coming out next year. Now getting to the end let me also show you that you can play Steam VR games without any problem. And let me show you one of my favorite games. This is Doom VFR. This game is just over the top. It's just so much fun and everybody needs to play this. Only available on PC VR. And as you can tell, I can perfectly play this on the MRTV low budget VR PC. All right, I believe at this moment you should be absolutely sold on the $700 MRTV low budget VR PC. This PC can play back all of these amazing games like Stormland and it also has the minimum system requirements to play Half-Life Alex. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to buy this PC, go and buy all of the components down in the description below from Amazon and I'm going to upload another video where I'm going to show you more in detail how to build this computer step by step. That's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoy this new style of video, building PCs. If yes, and if you probably want to have the MRTV high-end VR PC, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, why don't you do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.